Welcome back to Wrestling World. Today we'll be taking a look at AJ Lee's involvement in the DC Universe, Sasha Banks' controversial comments from SmackDown, and more. So let's start things off with a controversial comment and reference from Sasha Banks on WWE SmackDown. WWE writers often throw pop culture references into the WWE product, and that gets mixed reaction from fans. Some fans like the pop culture references, while others feel like it makes WWE seem desperate to relate to what's popular outside of wrestling. We hear the commentators sometimes throw in these pop culture references, and we even hear it from the superstars at times as well. We've already seen a handful of pop culture references this year alone. At Raw Legends Night, WWE name-dropped Cardi B, Kylie Jenner, and Ariana Grande in a segment about fooling Angel Garza. That segment did turn out to be a success because it actually caught Cardi B's attention. But this week's SmackDown featured two questionable pop culture references that got some mixed reactions. The first one was Sami Zayn going to Kevin Owens backstage and pitching the idea to him about the documentary and putting it on YouTube and how it would put up Logan Paul numbers. Don't get it confused, Logan Paul is still one of the biggest creators on the platform, but that line by WWE did seem like it was written by someone that was a bit outdated and out of touch with YouTube. If Sami Zayn and WWE's goal was to mention a big creator that gets ridiculous numbers, it's possible that Mr. Beast would have been a much better choice to go with for Sami Zayn's line with Kevin Owens. The even more controversial pop culture reference came later on that same night with Sasha Banks. During the Kevin Owens show, Sasha Banks said that she is like the Michael Jordan of the women's division and Bianca Belair is just LeBron James. Now, this line by Sasha opened up a lot of discussion and absolute mayhem online. It's also interesting to note that even WWE deleted the LeBron James part of Sasha's line from their YouTube highlight clip. The YouTube highlight just has Sasha calling herself the Michael Jordan of the women's division, and then the camera skips. So that's interesting as well. Why cut that part of the line out? But Sasha's line caused a lot of discussion online. It seems that Sasha's line about being the Michael Jordan of the women's division meant that she was calling herself the greatest women's wrestler ever. And calling Bianca Belair the LeBron James of the women's division basically meant that Bianca could be the second greatest of all time behind her. That's what Sasha's line meant because that's how Michael Jordan and LeBron James comparison goes in basketball. A lot of fans think Michael Jordan is the undisputed greatest of all time and that LeBron James will always be the second. So that's what Sasha's line was referring to. But just taking a look at the Instagram comments, you can see that a lot of fans had a lot of different opinions. Some fans agreed with Sasha Banks, while others claimed that Trish Stratus and Lita are the Jordans of the women's division. Some fans even said that Charlotte Flair was the Michael Jordan of the women's division and that everyone else comes after her. There are some fans that believe LeBron James is better than Michael Jordan, so they viewed Sasha's SmackDown line as her basically saying that Bianca Belair was better than her, since they view LeBron as being better than Jordan. It was just absolute wildness, and that's probably why they removed that line out of the highlight. Who knows? It was just a highly controversial line that everyone had a different opinion on. But getting back to the overall storyline between Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair, there's a lot to touch on there as well. Fans were angry that after all this buildup and protection for Bianca Belair in recent months, they have her lose on SmackDown to a roll-up and distraction by Reginald. This was a real questionable decision by WWE. Bianca Belair should be riding this massive hot streak into WrestleMania. Just a massive winning streak, no losses in several months, and that all would have made her seem like an even bigger threat to Sasha Banks. But Bianca Belair getting pinned just to create conflict between the two of them and getting Reginald involved again was pretty weak. We talked about it several weeks ago, and the problem is still here. Why is Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair feuding with Reginald and so worried about Reginald when they should be building up their own WrestleMania story? That's a question that everyone is asking. Why is Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair's storyline revolving around Reginald so much? How does Reginald have a bigger role in the women's division right now while big stars like Bailey and Carmella have no role at all? 
Doesn't seem like there won't be an end to Reginald's involvement in the storyline coming anytime soon, because he will be ringside for Sasha vs Nia Jax on SmackDown, and he will be at ringside at Fastlane, so he will only continue to get in the way. It's safe to assume that Reginald's involvement was just to turn Sasha and Bianca against each other even more, but that decision is getting mixed reaction from the fans. They feel like they could have started that tension with Sasha and Bianca alone. You don't really need a third party for that. Some fans are also questioning again if Sasha Banks is turning heel. Her actions from last week's SmackDown, the things she said, calling Bianca Belair a rookie, and so much more other things were all giving off a heel vibe. The thing about Sasha Banks is that you can't call this a heel turn. It's just how she is as a character. She was never babyface to begin with. She only went after Bailey because Bailey turned on her first. Sasha has sort of been a tweener over the last few months. But yes, it does look like she's leaning a bit more towards being full heel again with how she's treating Bianca Belair. If Sasha and Bianca lose again at Fastlane, maybe that's where Sasha will probably even turn it up another notch as well. We'll have to see about that. But how are you enjoying this feud between Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair so far? In other news, AJ Mendez, known to WWE fans as AJ Lee, has taken her writing career up another level as she's now joining DC Comics, the home of so many beloved superheroes and villains such as Batman, Joker, Harley Quinn, Superman, and so many more. AJ Lee announced this news via her Instagram page. She had this to say, Your girl's writing a Wonder Woman story, psyched to be included in DC Comics' Wonder Woman Black and Gold an 80th anniversary anthology, with a story illustrated by the talented Ming Doyle. The comic drops June 22nd. AJ even showed off the covers, and one of the Wonder Woman covers even looked like AJ herself. But yes, for everyone that's been keeping up with AJ, her writing career has been on fire as of late. She's getting signed to so many comics and so many projects. Now she's part of the legendary DC Comics, so that has to be high on her list of accomplishments. She takes her writing very seriously and has already earned so many awards for her work. Now she has an opportunity to create a storyline for the iconic Wonder Woman character. And who knows where this can lead to and take AJ to next. DC Comics already has some other former WWE superstars in their universe, like John Cena. John Cena has been filming the DC HBO series Peacemaker for his DC character over the last few months, so Cena is already in the DC Universe. Now AJ Lee is entering DC Universe as a writer, so maybe she'll work her way into even more projects for DC. Like a lot of fans pointed out, the Wonder Woman on the cover of the comic even looked like AJ. Would she ever consider jumping to acting to portray one of the characters she's writing about? We'll have to see if acting ever comes up again for AJ Lee because like we saw in WWE, she definitely is a phenomenal actress. But what are your thoughts on everything that's been going on with Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair and the big news from AJ Lee joining DC Comics? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching guys.